this is a very serious subject, leaving, leaving the body, because we can leave our body today. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I have a lot of time ahead of me, I can enjoy a lot, I can obtain some properties, maybe I, I gain some <coughs> name and fame and honor, and maybe I have a lot of comforts and, oh, I'm thinking so many things beautiful things for my senses, but my senses are departing, my memory, God, my eyesight need glasses, my ear also can affect my teeth, full of folds, my insides, we better don't talk about it, huh? so, my skin, maybe cancer. You know, it's, it's just like, this story of this body is not exactly so glorious and entertaining, you know. <laughs> I mean, it was nice to meet you guys. Thank you for having met you in this lifetime. And now, well, I can't take any one of you with me. But I have to go when I have to go, right? This is very serious, no? Bhishma Deva, and he said, hey, forget about anything. Fix your mind on Krishna. Fix your mind on the Supreme Personality of God. And everything else is just lost. Time lost. You, you, you will repent. You repent a lot if you're not focusing your mind on Krishna. He's the only one who can make your life successful, make make your experience unique by by listening to Krishna and by uh, learning from his pure devotee about his pastimes, you will understand, hey, 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 somebody appeared in this world to give us transcendental light and this light is in the Bhagavad Gita. You know, there were so many verses we read from Gita this morning about leaving the body. So, what about you? You also have to leave your body? When? Well, you don't know when. I also don't know when. Maybe today. You don't know. How can you talk like this? How can you talk like this? I leave the body today. Well. Today is today, tomorrow is today, next day is today. So one day will be the today you leave this body. So then we have to be realizing we should li live our life as if we have to leave this world today. That is what Prabhupada taught us. Live in such a way, behave in such a way, that you can leave the body without any problem, right? Clean, straight, straight with Krishna, straight into the arms of Krishna, Bhishma Deva. Now the chivalrous relationship which Bhishma had with Krishna, I must say it's very difficult to understand, I have a difficulty to understand it, but anyway, if it's in the Bhagavatam, if they, the Acharyas presented it that way, then it must be existing and it must have some... I mean, I can understand that Bhishma Deva was very fortunate to be so close to Lord Krishna, and he was unfortunate because he was on the side of Duryodhana. So how this really happened and why he didn't just leave Duryodhana and join the Pandavas, eh, I can't understand it, you know. I, I can't, you know social commitments and so I don't know I mean but in this world there's so many things I don't understand so why should I complain I just don't understand maybe somebody else does understand but I don't understand even in the Vedas many things I don't understand but I still feel they're the greatest teachings which I've come about in this world <coughs> And some, some of the things I don't understand and some of the things I don't like. I don't like it when when Lord Ram sends Sita into the forest. I don't like it. Huh? I have my problems with that, you know. But 
Then again, it's Lord Ram, so what he wants to teach, I don't know. I like Lord Chaitanya better. But he, he took sannyas and he left Vishnu Priya, so many people don't like that. Of course, I like it because he saved me. He came and he gave all his life to, to drag us out from this material world. And, and Lord Nityananda is another story, you know. So, liking, not liking, living or dying, this is all. It's, a, it's all a very amazing history, really. A very amazing story of our life. And it's a lore, the story of the Bhagavatam, it's a story of the Bhagavad Gita, it's a story of the Ramayana. Ramayan. <coughs> and here we are in the temple city, Vrindavan. There's a beautiful Ram temple over there. I know many other Ram temples. Sita Ram, there's Krishna temples everywhere, Hanuman temple everywhere, Ganesh temple everywhere, Durga temple here and there. You know, we, we visited the big Durga temple, the Yoga Maya temple here. No. Oh, oh, oh. Yoga Maya, my God, so big as she stands, you remember? Huh? So, what's Yoga Maya doing? Well, She's telling, I'm in charge of Vindavan, by the way, you know. Of course she is. By her grace, everybody's meeting. Even the gopis get to marry Krishna because of her. So, so don't minimize Yoga Maya. I mean, they maximized her in a physical form, no? But uh, actually, Yoga Maya could be 500 times bigger to show the importance she has in this world, you know. Have you been to the Yoga Maya temple? Huh? You just saw it from a distance. Yeah, you kind of have to see it to believe it is. Just, just, Vrindavan is full of amazing sights, no? Both the Yamuna, the natural beauty, when we went down the Yamuna to Mathura, wow. What an amazing beauty is this. But, amazing beauty or not, we have to make our life amazingly beautiful by chanting Hare Krishna, by surrendering to Krishna's lotus feet and by doing something solid for Him. Very solid. I want everybody to be very happy in Krishna consciousness, but sometimes we don't have the karma to be happy either. <laughs> Some people also want to be happy. It's so funny, everybody wants to get married, but when he wants to marry someone, that someone doesn't want to marry him. And when that someone wants to marry somebody else, that someone also doesn't want to get married with them. So in this way, we have a nice connection, uh, a nice dilemma of everybody wanting to marry somebody who doesn't want to marry him. So. Nice story, no? <laughs> of course, and sometimes you find it looks like, wow, two people met each other. They really agree. I belong to you and you belong to me. That means they have a karmic past. Maybe last lifetime they were enemies <laughs> and now they feel an attraction. Oh. This person very special. I have something to do with this person. And the person does it. You're so nice. I love you so much. Uh -oh. So, and then they have to live together for the whole lifetime. Oh no 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 no! no. This is another story, no? So this is what this world of karma is like. It's so strange, so strange. <coughs> Therefore, we have this nice brahmachari joke. Huh? The life of a brahmachari was so miserable that I had to get married to find out there's something even worse. <laughs> have you heard that saying? Yes? Chitari is a well-known expert on this science. 
both brahmachari as well as grihastha. <laughs> it's just like living together with a person, making things add to agree on certain things. That's a very difficult thing, you know. It's very difficult, very difficult. I mean, <laughs> hardly anybody gets along with anybody. I mean, Govardhan, he gets along with his wife. He's like a, he's like a great example. Huh? <coughs> you never fight? <coughs> the Italians, they have a formula for that. <laughs> huh? <laughs> like what? Huh? Like what? What for you? Well, we once had a, a, a discussion with a few Italian grihastas, and they all agreed that that you can have a nice fa family as long as you always say yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you always say yes, then it becomes somewhat uh, harmonious. Huh? <laughs> And then if your wife is a great devotee, you're lucky. <laughs> if she's not, you're really in trouble. <laughs> oh, Krishna. Anyhow, so this is like the karmic circumstances now. How's it going to work out? How, what's the solution in all these dilemmas? And the answer is surrender to Krishna. Only solution, surrender to Krishna. Become a surrendered soul to Krishna's lotus feet. That's the only solution. Don't think of any other solution. If you surrender to Krishna, then things will happen. And if we have no brahmacharis and no sannyasis, then who's going to push on the movement? Of course, we have some grihastas like Ramananda, very nice grihastas, and they have no children, so they can take charge of all the devotees. Perfect. Then you become like the big daddy. Huh? You just take care of all the devotees, just make them happy, put them to serve Krishna. Very nice. So everybody can preach, but if you have no money and you have four kids, all you're going to do is work like an ass to be able to get enough money to feed those guys. So, and then you bring them up and they become big and then they say, Daddy, you know something? Don't tell me anything anymore. I don't believe in you. What do you mean you don't believe in me? I worked for you all my life. I worked like an ass. Well, that's your karma. <laughs> oh, my karma. <laughs> So it's not such an easy thing. You have to really, really, you have to really try your best to depend on Krishna and doing the things proper, properly. I mean, everything is in the hand of Krishna. And the day of your death is also in the hand of Krishna. <coughs> I've taken so many of my children for the last ceremony, last rites, so many. Even some children I had to I had to put into their samadhi. One time we had this most emotional it was Janmastami and there was supposed to be an initiation and one of the person getting initiated was eight year Madhusuda. And he had written me a letter not ordinary young boy, just totally he had written poetry, he had preached vegetarianism. Fantastic kid, absolutely. He had everybody in his pocket. And the day before initiation, he went out of the school and with the many kids after him and they <coughs> went to a corner and the many kids behind him, they pushed him, they pushed him in the street right when the bus came over, ran over the little boy and he, he was killed. So when we all came to 
to Janmashtami to celebrate the great joy of Krishna's appearance. We saw a little, little, little Madhusudan dead in front of us. Everybody was like devastated. Devastated. How can you? How can you understand this? How can you? Krishna, but anyhow, he was in Krishna conscious. He, he, you should have seen the pic, the, the letter he wrote me for his initiation, an eight year old, you know. He went straight back to home, back to God. I mean, I'm envious of him, to be true. I mean, that's pew, out of this horrible place. Because this material world has some wonderful parts, but it's also very horrible, very complicated. So, so in this sense, this, this is what this world is like. And uh, so we are remembering Madhusudan. He is in Koloka Vindavan. He is, he, you know, you could say a life without offense. Huh? He never committed Vaishnava Aparat even to the slightest. So what a beautiful future for him in this mood. So Madhusudan, name of Krishna. So, any second you can die. If you know that, you can also be fearless. So any seconds I will die, so that I will die any second, so who cares? When the second comes, the second will come, so not be afraid. Like some people say, hey, you're working in the dust and you're working there with the stones in Radha Gopinath. When we worked with Radha Gopinath, we saw so many snakes and so many, uh, what do you call them? The thousand feet, but these thousand feet of India, they're more poisonous than snake, you know, very poisonous. We worked, we saw so many, but we just kept working and because we wanted to do the work so it's like you put your hand in Krishna's I mean any time you get up and you sit in a, in a scooter or anything you know you put your hand in Krishna's in Krishna your life in Krishna's hands you're always in danger everybody's in danger you can't avoid danger you say no I don't like danger you also in danger <clears throat> So put your hands in Krishna, your life in Krishna's hands, like Bhishma is putting his whole attention in Krishna's lotus feet. I don't know why he was Bhishma. I don't know why he was fighting on Duryodhana's side. I don't know anything. I just know Krishna said to Arjuna, surrender. So that's what I feel like when I hear, when I hear and think about all these things, like Srila Sridharmaj used to say, mind your own business, surrender. It's a very heavy statement. Mind your own business, surrender. So what's your own business? Well, that you should find out from your heart and from your guru. From your heart and from your guru, you find out what's your business.